All right, welcome back to the LCP Digital Learning Channel. Today I have a quick tip for you on when you come across a website that requires a very specific internet browser. So for example, if I'm in Safari and I need a website that is requiring me to use Internet Explorer, instead of having to download Internet Explorer, I'm gonna walk you through how to turn on a setting that allows you to mimic what it looks like to be on Internet Explorer. That way you don't have to have multiple browsers. You can use Safari but pretend like it's Internet Explorer and that works around some of those websites that require Internet Explorer. So let me show you what that looks like. So right now you can see on this top left corner, I'm in Safari. So when you have the Safari window open, go ahead and go to the top, click Safari, go down to Preferences. When your preferences come up right here on your tabs, you're gonna go to Advanced. And then down at the very bottom of Advanced, you see Show, Develop, Menu, and Menu Bar. Go ahead and make sure that's clicked and then exit out. So now you can see develop has showed up right here. When I click develop, I come down to the number one, two, where it says user agent. Now right now I have it on default, which is where I'm going to leave it. But if I get to a web page that's requiring Internet Explorer, what I can do is click Internet Explorer. It's going to reload that page, and now it's going to treat this page as if I was using Internet Explorer. So if you're on that website that's requiring it, you can turn it on. As soon as you're done, just go back up to develop user agent, and then just go ahead and go back to default. All right, hope that quick tip was helpful. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.